uh, today I will show you how to create a site collection in three ways so um, uh, the first one is uh, uh, how to create the modern site collection the another one is uh, how to create the uh, classic site collection from admin center and the third one is how to create the site collection or the site from a uh, SharePoint environment so the first one let me start from uh, uh, the classic uh, uh, SharePoint uh, site collection so uh, let us go to office 365 like type here office.com and uh, then um, you will see here uh, SharePoint uh, so I will go to admin center and admin center you will see uh, uh, it's, uh, you can admin uh, everything in this admin center but uh, for now we will see uh, about uh, so in here uh, let us say uh, show all so after that you will see here uh, SharePoint SharePoint so let us go to SharePoint admin center so this is very important part so let us start from classic SharePoint um, site creation uh, when we go to here we will see a lot of things but uh, let me say uh, here are uh, more features that uh, here a lot of features over here so uh, uh, click here more features so in more features you will see uh, go to um, uh, bad website and you will see a uh, classic site collection page so here click open and uh, you will see how to create a classic site collection so uh, this is the first step I will show you uh, another way I also have to create the type modern site collection so in here for example here uh, I say a private site collection as because when you share it will become public until that you will see um, the pri private site collection so let me uh, say uh, batch 1 batch uh, 2 or 3 uh, then uh, I'll type the site collection like B3 uh, uh, for my site collection so here you will see a lot of templates uh, so the, like team site classics experience uh, blog also uh, developer sites project sites community sites and uh, you'll see a lot of um, uh, templates in classic site collection but uh, by default there is uh, what uh, team site classic experience but you can select here the time because when you synchronize uh, your server can be accessed uh, in uh, nearest location so in here you have to select like uh, let me type my name Dunya uh, so then uh, check out check up uh, either it is available in Active Directory or not so when I check it uh, checks my name and then it uh, conformance for me now is checked so this you know this uh, is it is what uh, 300 means it is in uh, GB so uh, let me give just um, 50 GB storage because this is not dynamic this is static storage so uh, when I allocate my storage and this way it uh, automatically uh, occupy my storage space so uh, when I click here okay so it takes it takes uh, uh, a couple of minutes so uh, this is uh, so uh, here you can see it say new so it say a view so patch one so uh, it will come soon uh, let us uh, go back to and how to create the modern the site collection so in in, in this environment you will see in SharePoint admin center uh, please focus on here SharePoint admin center and SharePoint admin center you will see uh, sites and site under site you will see active site so click on active site and uh, you will say see uh, create and export so uh, if you ex went to export uh, you can click but for now we will click click on uh, create so let me create a uh, site collection so in modern site collection there are two types of uh, site collection only the first one is team site collection and the another one is communication site collection 
so uh, let me create uh, the team site collection so you have to know the difference between a team and the um, no uh, cl a communication site collection so uh, uh, this team site collection is share document have conversation with your team keep track events manage tasks and the more with a site connected on the office 365 but this site collection or communication site collection just to publish dynamic and beautiful uh, content is to the people uh, so let us create uh, the um, modern uh, team site collection I will click on this icon and uh, I'll go to I will give like say batch uh, 4 uh, so uh, in here uh, batch 4 is good so uh, it's already available so let me change it to batch 5 so it's okay so uh, then uh, I will go back down to see the another property so in here is say group owner it asking me group owner so uh, still uh, the group owner is when when I type you see and classic is not uh, display everything here immediately but I see my account immediately here so uh, you can see uh, advanced options and you can see time location everything that I left it for you so now here is say additional owner uh, actually right now I don't need additional owner so uh, if I need to add members to here or groups to here I can uh, type the group in, uh, email address or uh, uh, members email address for now I will finish and uh, okay, you see here uh, uh, my site collection is say um, batch 5 so when I click on this it take me to my site collection so this is very beautiful modern site collection the third one is um, uh, creating site collection from uh, SharePoint just uh, when you go to Office 365 uh, here uh, not just uh, when you go to uh, like office here I type office office.com and office.com the first thing you will see here uh, one of the uh, component is SharePoint when you click on SharePoint, uh, you see uh, SharePoint here. Uh, now you are uh, a lot of uh, SharePoint pages. So uh, SharePoint uh, site collections. So let me create the another site collection from here. I will tell you the disadvantage of this site collection, but let us create first. So when I create, so the same things you can create the team and the site. So this site collection is of course modern site collection. So you can create like give the name and uh, description, uh, but you can get this uh, site collection. Actually, the dis the limitation of this site collection is what you can't access uh, all applications and uh, uh, services that are available in a site collection because you created this site collection with a limited privilege. So uh, I recommended you to create the site collection is a modern uh, or classic experience within the SharePoint Admin Center. How to customize and manage this site collection? I will show you. If you have any question concerning to uh, my presentation, please type and comment. Have a good day. Have a good time.